Hello, this is Mark Wildman of Wildman Athletica with JP of Gambate Fitness. And today we are going to talk about the strength pieces that they do at this gym. Gambate Fitness is my favorite gym in LA. It is big, it is awesome. There's tons of equipment in here and it has good world-class coaches. All things you should be looking for when you're looking for a gym. This gym follows a very specific format. They warm up, they do strength piece, they do a woad. What we're gonna do is talk about the strength piece. It is similar to what you would do with kettlebells, but done with barbells. I do kettlebells because I tend to be in the middle of dusty fields and dragging 700 pounds of barbells in a rack out to the middle of nowhere is hard. Two kettlebells are light, barbells are heavy. In this gym, there is plenty of space and plenty of equipment to do barbell. So coach, what are the major categories that you guys do for strength pieces here? Strength pieces are a big part of the program. We are about get people, getting people stronger. When you're stronger, you feel better about yourself and- Everything's like, easier. Easier and as, like Mark said, it's just sexy too. So our strength work is about 15 to 20 minutes long. We always tackle either deadlifts, squats, press, and only lifts. So you're deadlift, glee, picking up heavy load from the ground and standing up with it. Something you do every day. Simple. Our right. version of that would be a kettlebell swing. Squats, we have back squats, front squats, overhead squats. So different squat uh, movements, back squats will be all of us from the back, front, having the bar sit on your shoulders, overhead squat, you're squatting with a press overhead. Okay. Overhead squat, certainly the hardest one for me. I've been doing clubs for so many years that I wrap myself around heavier and heavier clubs. Right. I have less good upper thoracic extension, which is why I come to this gym, because he forces me to do the things that I'm not good at. Presses. So press, we have strict, push press, push jerk, and the bench. So these are four different pressing movements. So we tackled deadlift, which will be your lower back, rear posterior, squat, hamstrings, glutes, press. Now you're going from your pecs and your shoulders, and Oli lifts. Oli lifts are basically your cleans and snatches. It's a combination of everything. So how, how explosive can you get getting the weight from the ground to overhead or the ground to your shoulders? I love Ollie lifts. Specifically, I love cleans. I love power cleans the most. I find power cleans to be probably one of the most useful exercises that 100%. you can do in any gym or any program ever. 100%. I focus very heavily on cleans with kettlebells, which are completely different angles. Kettlebells move in curve linear fashion. They change the way your body works. It's a little bit more like martial arts than something like a pure Olympic lift clean is. Guys who do ollie lifts and get really good at cleans, power cleans and clean squats, squat cleans. Squat cleans. Their vertical power is insane because they're ripping straight up off the ground instead of curve linear like kettlebells, instead of circular like clubs. All of these things can add up and go together. The more things you learn, the better your overall athleticism becomes. For our equivalents of what I do, deadlift would be every version of a swing. The double swing, the single swing, hand-to-hand -hand swing, two-hand swing, single-hand swing, soft style and hard style, depending on which one you're wanting to do. Hard style kettlebell stuff is much more like deadlifts because there's a single hip snap. For squats, we do front squats because it's very hard to put a kettlebell on your back. There are people who do that, but it's very hard to make it progressive and make it heavier and heavier and heavier. In kettlebells, there are overhead squats. I just don't talk about them a lot because most people can't survive them. Olympic lifters and dancers are probably the only people who can really survive overhead squats well, because they're the only people who make that type of upper thoracic extension a priority in training. Presses, of course, same thing, strict press. We just do it with a single kettlebell. They do it with a barbell. They end up sexier because with the wider grip, their body gets wider at the top and gives them more of a V shape. Kettlebells are more of a natural press. They can follow a single line. They tend not to make you much wider unless you're doing them in a very specific way. Push press, something we have, of course. Jerk, something we have a ton of. And bench press would be our Turkish get up. Ollie lifts, of course, we have cleans. 87,000 versions of cleans with kettlebells right. and as many versions of snatches as you can think of. So how do you fit your strength piece into 15 or 20 minutes? What is your strategy for success here? For us, it's gonna be one movement per class. So let's just say in a class, the focus will be deadlifts. For the 15, 20 minutes, that's the focus. So if you're someone new coming in who hasn't touched a bar or hasn't deadlifted before, that 15, 20 minutes will be used to prime your muscles to get to that movement pattern over and over and over again on a lighter load. If you're a more experienced athlete like Mark, who knows his numbers and percentages, he can actually go, okay, I can go at 80% effort 
five times. We normally don't have all the movements in the squeeze in for 20 minutes because we lose focus on that specific lift. Pick something, get really good at it. It's a good strategy. Every good coach in the world uses a similar strategy. Pick something, work on it each day. So think about this as being in wild man, whatever. In nerd math vernacular, it's A, B, C programming or A, B, C, D programming. Some days, Monday is deadlift, then squat, then right. press, then it starts over and it cycles again. So it becomes an A, B, C program that lines up in the middle of the week and it cycles. Monday is never always deadlift. Right. It cycles over. Sometimes it changes. The great thing about coming to a gym is I don't have to write the programming. I just show up and do whatever I'm told, right. which is really awesome. Think about in that 20 minutes, you're probably gonna get five prime work sets in there because mm -hmm. it's gonna be in every two minutes on two minutes. Right. If three deadlifts takes you 15 seconds, you get a minute 45 to rest and stand around and add more plates, or you can push it into two and a half minutes. But everything here is time management. JP is very good at keeping everybody on the clock and getting everybody to get through their strength piece every day. If you just do your strength piece every day with good coaches, you will inevitably get much, much better at your basics. Same strategy here at Combate Fitness that all good coaches have. Get good at the basics forever. Right. Basically forever, yes, whatever. right? We will continue to talk about all of this stuff in future videos because I love talking to JP about this stuff. He has a very different way of looking at the numbers than I do. And that's because barbells micro load. There are different types of training strategies for different things. If I want to know about barbelling, I ask world-class athletes about the barbelling. Thanks to JP for allowing us to come to the gym. I'm always in this gym whenever I'm in town. It's the best gym in town.